cancer physical therapy specialist, Dr. Leslie Waldke. Welcome to the recovery room. So you may have just been traumatized by the words, you have cancer. Then you may find out chemotherapy is recommended. So you're contending with hair loss, nausea, fatigue, weakness, your food tasting, unappealing, and basically a complete change in your life and energy. And then along comes your physical therapist who tells you, you need to exercise. Wait, what? Exercise during chemotherapy? So I feel horrible, the worst I have ever felt in my entire life, and you want me to take a walk? Um, yes, I do. But don't shoot the messenger because it's true and it's all based on research. Research has clearly shown that exercise during chemotherapy protects your heart, decreases fatigue, helps preserve your muscles, keeps you from getting weaker, decreases nausea, decreases depression, and helps you recover faster when it's done. It is never too late to start, but the sooner the better. Ideally, start before you start, meaning start walking and strengthening before you start chemotherapy. Going forward, if you have a friend, a colleague, or family member diagnosed with cancer, the best gift you can give them is to get them walking and exercising immediately. Or if they're already an exerciser, encourage them not to stop. But again, I reiterate, whenever or wherever someone is on their months-long chemo plan, it is never too late to start exercising. And the sicker one gets, the more important exercise becomes. Yes, this can feel overwhelming, and people will say, there is no way. There is usually a way. If you are unable to do this, have your cancer team refer you to a physical therapist to get you the support you deserve. The guidelines of most research and cancer organizations target 150 minutes of moderate exercise per week during chemotherapy. Let's talk about time first. This 150 minute target breaks down to an average of 30 minutes a day, but you don't have to do 30 minutes a day. Depending on which day of the chemo cycle you're on, 30 minutes may be a piece of cake, while in other days it may be way too much. So some days you may tolerate 40 to 45 minutes, while in other days, five to 10 minutes is all your body can do. That's okay. Anything is always better than nothing. The 150 minutes is a target for the entire week, so you can break it down however you want, including doing several short sessions a day. So doing seven minutes, three times a day throughout the day is 21 minutes. If it is a particularly rough week and 150 minutes is out of the question, do what you can. I repeat, something is always better than nothing. Now let's get to the moderate part. Moderate is a level where your heart, lungs, and muscles are certainly getting challenged, but not enough to make you stop. Key point, this moderate is the you on chemotherapy moderate, not the moderate when you feel perfect. Your moderate will change for you depending on what day of the chemo cycle you're on, so make adjustments. For example, on day 20 post chemotherapy, moderate for you may mean walking a couple miles at a brisk pace and lifting weights for 10 minutes. While on day four after chemotherapy, moderate may mean walking inside the house for three minutes, doing five wall push-ups once in the morning and once again in the evening. And exercise can be anything that challenges your breathing and muscles. If you are a low level or feel really crummy, walking in the house, marching in place, doing chair exercises, going up and down the stairs several times, and dancing in place constitutes as exercise. And also, it's your moderate, not someone else's. People are on different chemotherapy drugs, people respond to drugs differently, people have different fitness levels, different health issues, and people have differing levels of exercise experience. So do not compare yourself to others. Yes, you can do this, and yes, you can help coach a loved one through this. Of course, the likelihood of feeling perfect during chemotherapy is unlikely, and exercise isn't going to get you to perfect. What it will most certainly get you is being less sick, less weak, and staying healthier, as well as getting you to a much quicker path back to good health. Those are all good things to hold on to during a very rough time. I'm Dr. Leslie Walke. Exercise like your life depends on it, because it does. Let's talk again soon.
good. Wait, what? Perfect. Thank you. <laughs>